Okay, so um, I'm checking out of the hotel in Xinfeng and uh, the trailer has been repaired, but I really think it's just a Band-Aid solution and I'm, I was really nervous packing up today because as I put weight on the trailer, I know it's just gonna generate a lot of torque on an already broken support structure. Um, I think maybe I should have invested a little bit more energy with the welder to try and reinforce the uh, solution. But uh, if the roads are not horrible, I think that I can get by at least until Shenzhen and maybe engineer something there. Um, I'm checking out right now. They're, they're checking out the room and then uh, I'm gonna get back on the road. Okay, so uh, the trike is ready. It is hot and humid today, like really hot and humid. I'm sweating bullets. But as long as the trailer can survive, everything is right with the world. So I'm gonna try to make it to Longnan or beyond. Um, actually, just try and get as far as I can. It's very late. I started very late today. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself, but hey, what the hell. Chayo, right? It's kind of funny how you you normally don't pay attention to things, but uh, like I normally wouldn't worry about my trailer, I would just ride, but now that I've exposed myself to this problem, I can't stop thinking about it. I'm riding slower, I, I don't want to put my earphones in because I'm afraid I'm going to hear some indication of cracking or something. I guess it's a good thing, but... It's, make, it's definitely making the ride less enjoyable. Like I look up ahead and there's construction and immediately my mind is turned towards the trailer. Whereas before it was just get through the construction. Anyways. This guy in a trailer, he, uh, he, he stopped me. He wanted to talk to me. He's like in a little Chinese trailer car. And he just, he just gave me, gave me a bunch of nuts. I have no idea what to do with these nuts. I have no space for them. But he's right up there. If I throw them away, he's going to see it. He wouldn't let me not, not give them back. I said, what am I going to do? I have no place for them. He just made my life a little bit more difficult. bad putting the trailer to the test making me go slow slow slow
I'm in a uh, particularly, particularly dusty area. And the streets have this fine powder on it. I wish I could have just captured what I just saw. A car, a bunch of trucks passed by. It became so uh, dusty. I couldn't see uh, three feet in front of me. And then a truck, a huge truck just came out of the, out of the dust. I had to, smartly, I hit on the shoulder because no one would have seen me if I would have, you know, been right in front of them. But if it happens in there, I'll try and capture it. I think I can't go here. Just because trucks can't go doesn't mean a truck can't go. You know a great feeling? Coming into your destination at the end of a long day's ride. Hearing the perfect song in your ears, everybody around you smiling and, and enjoying something they've never seen before. And you know it's almost over for the day. Okay, so I'm in Longnan. I'm about to head out and uh, I'm leaving the hotel right now. Um, I'm a little bit nervous of my trailer because uh, the, uh, the trailer now is, is angling down uh, because that hitch point there is starting to torque up and uh, creating a dip point there. And uh, it's just not strong enough anymore, the frame. So what I did is, is I took some suggestions from Facebook and uh, I, I, I attached a bungee cord to first keep the two together. If the hitch does decide to come off, then my trailer won't roll down the road. And two, it's pulling upwards. So hopefully it'll counterbalance that, that, that pulling down. And I distributed some more of the heavier things into the back of the trailer. I really like this trailer. I like the idea of having a rack set and, and like a dip, a, a, an access point. To, I, I looked at those yak trailers and they're very nice, but I think that if I had a bag and I had to ruffle through a bag every time I wanted to access the trailer, because I'm always doing it for the videos, it would just be counterproductive. So anyways, I've got to figure it out and uh, I've got to figure it out before it gets too late. And I, and I have to go through another trailer. Anyways, time to go. Okay, so uh, I think that bungee cord's working pretty good. It's keeping the trailer upright. And even if, uh, even if the, uh, the hitch actually does break off, it'll still hold on. Uh, and it provides a little, a little shock absorption, which is always good. I just worried that uh, if that piece breaks off completely, I'm screwed again. Whatever. Check that out. That's a good sign. That is literally a good sign. confident in my trailer right now like considerably more confident it's riding much better I can feel it hello and I have a uh, and I have a I had a flat tire on my trailer yesterday so that also is helping me ride a little smoother maybe it's a psychological thing Ooh. 
I'm moving now. Man, I had that flat tire. I didn't even know it. I thought it was something else was happening yesterday. And I just felt like I was dragging ass. And I was dragging. That's true. I was just dragging because of a flat tire. That's going to make today nice. And swimming, if you want to get better at swimming, you'll wear a drag suit. Like a, a big poofy suit that you drag in the water. And when you take it off, you're much faster because you've been building up that resistance to the drag. And I feel like yesterday I was... I was building resistance to uh, the drag of the of the flat tire, just pulling it through, and uh, now it's just like coasting. So I'm still in Longnan. I'm about to leave the city. I'm crossing the main highway right now, and I have a choice. I can either go down the 105, which will continue on a, on a, probably a path similar to this. City roads, up and down, uh, probably really dirty. Or I can take a lesser road. This is G105, but there's S roads that are like more local local highways and the s roads zigzag a bit more but they do follow the course a little bit more too so if i followed s 237 south it will connect with the g uh, 4511 which is the main and then the s 230 and the s 230 goes almost all the way to uh, all the way I think I'm going to try the S230. I think I'm going to go a little bit less travel. Okay, so I'm going to go on uh, 237. A smaller road, but uh, hopefully smaller might mean more interesting. Maybe more picturesque. If it's better looking, I, I, I have to force myself to take video along the way. So maybe you guys will get the benefit from my my decision to go the road less traveled. Just hope the trailer holds up. I really hate that I have to make this decision, but I'm at the last point before 237, the country road, diverges from 105. I just rode a couple of kilometers on it, and it is super, super poor quality, like big potholes. I would be more than happy to try it out if I had more faith in my trailer, but for risking the chance that I get stuck somewhere in the middle of nowhere, with a with a trailer situation and a road like that it's really not smart i really would like to challenge this 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 road but it's just not smart I, i'm gonna go back to the 105 safe maybe not so much jayo but it'll keep me from getting in, involved in something like quicksand. Whatever. 